Ladies and gentlemen, last night I had a great time hanging out with Warren Hewitt. If you're unfamiliar with Warren, uh, he's this incredible producer, right? And he had these incredible stories about, you know, Jeff Beck, where he went to his house and, you know, made him play because we ended as lovers to him when he's like right here. Just, just amazing stuff. It was really a treat to hang with him. If you haven't seen that, it's the video right before this. So please watch that. I can't, I can't stress that enough. Now, as promised, I'm going to do a lot of subscriber react requests. You guys have been supporting this channel and I know I've done a lot of, you know, here, there and whatever. So we are going to dig in deep. We are going to do one after the other. So let's go down to the last one here. Last one I did was Chris Stapleton. There's a lot of good stuff to choose from. Matt DeMarco, Ween, Lucas Nelson, Feng Suave, Foy Vance. Yeah, I've been meaning to do Foy Vance. John Moreland, you don't care for me enough to cry? That's a good... We're doing Foy Vance. But John Moreland might have to be next. Uh, this is from Matt Ryan. Matt Ryan says, Hey Michael, brand new to Guitargate. I've spent the last couple days binging your reaction videos. Yes. Thought I'd take the opportunity to share one of my all-time favorites with you. All I can say is that Foy's music truly makes me feel at home. Anyways, hopefully you enjoy this track as much as I do. I'm sure I will, Matt. And thank you so much for being a subscriber on the website. And here we go. This is Foy Vance Malibu Jane. Now, I know who Foy Vance is. He's been a regular on the Tuesday streams. I think we've done... Uh, uh, he did like a Prince cover, and then there's one where he's at the piano that has millions of views. We did that, but we haven't done this. So here we go. Malibu Jane Oh Malibu Jane When will I see Just call out my name And I will hop back on the plane Malibu Jane Kind as a word That suits you just fine Everybody needs it back Got mine. Up to the third. And you're always being kind. Never once heard you complain. Malibu Jane. Malibu Jane. Yeah. Oh, Malibu Jane. I love this guy. I love his look. I love the mustache, the tone of his voice. I love his pace. I love the time he's taking with it. Um, now let's let's go back and uh, your basic changes. I think it's I think it's just in G, but let's get some. Now I know you got me. I suit you just fine. Everybody needs it that got. Now I know you got mine. <sighs> Clearly, this is one of those guys that um, doesn't use a tuner before a uh, 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 filmed video like this, where he's in tune to himself, but he's in between G and F sharp. The basic doesn't make it easy, does it? But your basic move is that, is that G. Suss it out with that C, right? Love that he went up to the major third on the melody there. Oh, In you get it. Um, so so basically, you're you're 
Again, simple chords, simple melodies, perfectly delivered, great lyrics. That's the real stuff, right? And this is what you're getting here. Right, five, six, root, up to the major third. Straight back down to the, to the, to the, uh, to the fifth of G. Then as we go to the five chord, the melody hangs on the nine, which is what? The fifth of your five chord, forever. You guys know this. And then it goes, and then resolves back to the one, going to the major third. You're wondering how I might know this. It's because so many songs, the greatest songs, do this. Simple major pentatonic melodies. The nine's the fifth of your five chord. These are the things I preach over at my website, right? It's it's this is this is this is um let's call this 101, if you will. But it's good because it sounds good, right? Just because it's simple, just because it's 101, doesn't mean it's not perfect delivery, perfect feel, perfect time, perfect message, right? Ignore all that stuff. This is excellent. So it goes, then it goes to one, it goes to, uh, sorry, one. Dominant seven, major four, minor four, yeah. Two, five dominant, so two dominant, five dominant, one. And again, if you're wondering how I did that, if I picked those out of the air, or if I pre-listened, the answer is no. I've heard this progression so many times. I've heard this simple form of a melody so many times. Once you, once you start getting in the habit of becoming an active listener and you're like, oh, what's that sound? What's that? And you stop what you're doing and you're like, what is that? And you realize that's not just C major to C minor. That's a major four chord to a minor four chord. This is one of those classic moves, just like the first one where it went one. One dominant, stop what you're doing. Figure out the why behind the notes, why you love what you love, and you'll have it forever. That's how I could figure this out, even though it's a little out of key, right? And even though I wasn't touching the guitar when he's playing, because I've, I've, I've dedicated myself to being an active listener and learning why I love what I love. That's it. Always being kind. Never once heard you complain, Malibu Jane, Malibu Jane. To that three. Oh, Malibu Jane. And notice he's picking. He he's picking the melody with his guitar and singing the same notes with it. Right? Very cool. Where will I see your face again? Will if ever you need a friend, yeah. just call out my name. And I will hop back on the plane. Malibu Jane. What a great tune. It, it reminds, it's very James Taylor-esque for me. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's two people. I feel this one thing. If you ever need me, I'll be there. Right? It's, it's that, it's, it's simple stories about people connected with simple melodies and simple progressions. Those are the earworms. That's the stuff that gets people in people's heads. That's the secret. Right? It's, simplicity done perfectly well and uniquely. It's true. Pain is a word that you know well Yet if you are hurting it's hard to tell yeah. To the 
three. Because you always wear a smile, even when your spirit wanes. Malibu Jane, Malibu Jane. I love that he always tags up the three, you know? You always wore a smile even when your spirit waned. Malibu Jane going up to the two, and then Malibu Jane going back up to the three. It's a, it's a, it's just, it's just perfect melody and chords and lyrics put together. It's just, it's just what it is. And you can see the picture. We, we all know this person. Oh Malibu Jane, where will I see? And I will hop back on the plane, Malibu Jane. My favorite part was the very, very end. My favorite part was the very, very end. There's a way, there's a way people hold themselves, right? When they play, where they're feeling the internal beat. And it's so on display when it's just one person by themselves. Because they're keeping time with themselves, especially when they're singing and playing at the same time. And it's their feel. And there's a loan of the story, right? Now you watch him in here. You watch him deliver this last line. He starts to stagger and he starts doing the... Uh... Changing up that little sussing out of the four. But then watch his body language. Watch how he starts to shake. And it's almost like, is he gonna sing it one more time? Is he gonna slow it down? It's almost like he's listening to his inner rhythm and just letting it happen. I love, I love watching little things like this. You need a friend, you just call out my name. And I will hop back on the plane, Malibu Jane. So much of that is listening to the room. Ask anybody that's done a lot of, uh, especially solo acoustic performances in different sized venues. When you're in a room like this, you're going to play it differently than if you're in a big hall or if you're in like in a tiny closet. You're hearing that reverberation bounce off the entire room and that's going to affect your tempo and your feel and how you slow it down, right? This is, this is one of those perfect capturings, capturings of this. Like, this, this is what you're seeing. You're seeing, well, one, a guy really love his tune and really love this girl he's singing about, right? And obviously, he's not there anymore, and, and you know, it's a great story. We all, we're all picking up on what he's putting down. But that lingering, that lingering of the sound in the room, it's just, it's just a real treat to watch. I know I'm going on about something very, very small, but this is the real stuff. This is how you know the dude lived it. Yeah, the way he shakes it at the end, right? If he was in a big hall, he would wait longer for those attacks. He's playing it exactly to the room. He's totally in the moment here. It's such a cool thing to see. Anyhow, I'm sorry that I was a little out of tune with him. I'm in tune. 
he's a little out, but you know what, it doesn't matter. I love people that just go up there and tune by ear and turn the camera on or get in front of people and they just, and they just do it because they're using their ear and they're just following it, right? It's about the song um, and they've done it a bunch of times. The ear knows. If it sounds good, it is good. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing. Thanks for dropping links in the comments. And mostly, if you are looking for an online teacher, uh, looking for some extra inspiration to pick this thing up every day, I would encourage you to click the first link in the description and join me and Matt Ryan and a bunch of others over at guitargate.com where um, we're sharing music, we're sharing videos of us getting better, and uh, we'd love to have you over there. And it supports the channel, and uh, I would sincerely appreciate it. That's it. Thank you all so much. Bye-bye.